My name is Justin Nault. I own Clovis. This is a weekly live video that we do called Ask Me Anything. So I go through the topics of the week, the things that people are talking about, mostly in the private Facebook group, uh, the Clovis Academy. I take most of the questions from there. I take the most common topics of that week and I throw them into a weekly Ask Me Anything. That's what we're here for. This is Ask Me Anything number 15 and it is titled, How Eating Fat Can Save Your Life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about macronutrients. And we're gonna take all the advice, all the things that you've learned from school since you were a little kid, all the mainstream nutrition, we're gonna untangle all the nonsense, flip it on its head, and fix your health. I'm gonna give you some information that you did not have prior to this AMA, and I know that because there's a lot of things in this AMA that I actually haven't discussed in prior AMAs. So this is Ask Me Anything number 15, how fat can save your life. Also, we have a ton of stuff going on with Clovis. Just Exponential growth. The academy is now up over 550 people. Um, we talked a bit about Clovis Kids last week, so if you stick around, we're going to talk more about that tonight. And we have over 80 kids signed up for Clovis Kids, which is insanity. So I'm going to tell you more about that. Now, remember, if you're from the academy, I love you. Thank you so much for watching uh, another Ask Me Anything. I know you guys basically set your watch to this, so I'm sorry that it started so late. I'm really, really sorry. But um, thank you for watching. There's going to be a lot of new viewers. That's what the Ask Me Anythings are for. We want to get as many new viewers as possible. So if you have somebody who is interested in Clovis or what you're doing, remember, tag them in the videos. You can click share on this video, share to your timeline. You can click share now public to get it out there. And uh, just let people know that we're doing this live video. We can get new people into the fold who can learn new things from this video. Might attract them to the academy so they can get in there with you guys. You can bring your loved ones in, make the academy grow, and really change more people's lives. That's what we're trying to do with this thing. Okay, so ask me anything, number 15, how eating fat can save your life. So this week in the academy, I asked you guys what some of the most common topics were. So I took a few of those common topics and rolled them into this Ask Me Anything, which is all centered around macronutrients. Uh, macronutrients, particularly the three major macronutrient groups, that is fat, protein, and carbohydrates. So we're going to talk about how eating fat can save your life. For the reason I want to talk about this is a lot of people in the academy, we, the newbies, all the new people that have come in, they start tracking, they get their app, they get their macros from me, they get their approved foods list, they're gung-ho ready to go, and they feel a little defeated on day one, day two, day three. They're like, well, I went way over on my fat and I'm way under on my carbs, or way over on my carbs and way low on my protein. I didn't hit the numbers, wah, 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 right? So I really want to talk about macronutrients for that reason, so we can talk about the three different macronutrients. So. Um, Put it this way, like I just saw the movie Ready Player One. Uh, I read the book years ago, it was fantastic. I was super pumped when they made a movie. And uh, if you've read the book or seen the movie uh, that takes place in this kind of video game, virtual reality world, and they need to collect the three keys for the big ultimate prize thing, right? So the three keys, and I was thinking about this, that's basically what the major macronutrients are. These are the three keys to optimal human health. I'm gonna give you all three of those keys, fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Macros are literally the keys to human health. So above all else, you need to learn about these three important macronutrients if you want to have a shot at a healthy life. They are that important. They're everything. Now notice, I said macronutrients. I never once mentioned calories. So I actually change this when I make macronutrients for people now. I don't even give them their total caloric amount. I used to do that. But then people were like, hey, I'm hitting my macronutrients or I'm almost hitting my macronutrients, but I'm short of my calories. People kept worrying about these damn calories. So I just stopped giving people calories altogether because they're literally useless. Follow the macros and it will work itself out. So stay to the end of this video. If you stay to the end, you will know everything that you need to know about the three major macronutrient groups and how to optimize them to live a long, healthy life. Also, if you stay to the end, you're going to learn about Clovis Kids and you're going to get a, a sneak peek at Clovis Kids, which we've built out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, weren't here last week, Clovis Kids is a program that has never existed before. It's a all-in-one get healthy program for your kids, basically for the entire family. We announced it last week. It's been a huge success so far, and we're almost ready to launch. We have it built out, so we're gonna give you kind of a behind the scenes sneak preview of that program. Also, uh, there's gonna be a live Q&A. At the end of these Ask Me Anythings, that's kind of the point of the Ask Me Anything. I hit the major topics that people tell me that they wanna talk about, and then we jump into a live Q&A. So that's exactly how it sounds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the comments on this live video. You leave me your comments, let me know your questions. Now remember, don't throw those in there yet. 
because we're going to, I'm going to talk here for a while. I'm going to give you the points on these different macronutrients. So if you throw your question in now, the odds of me going in and scrolling down and finding your question are pretty rare. So if you have a question that you want to ask, type it somewhere, write it down, think about it, save it. I'm going to leave a lot of time tonight for that live Q and A, because I think this is a really important topic. And for those of you that wanted science, we're getting back to a little bit of science, right? So we've been, um, I've been pumping the brakes in the science thing because I don't like going over people's heads. So I think tonight's the perfect combination of not going over people's heads, but giving you exactly what you need to know about all these, these uh, macronutrients. So also stick around to the end for your weekly special offer. Now, if you're in the academy and you've seen these videos before, you know that these offers have just been crazy lately. We have a bunch of tech happening on the back end with the wizard. We got some amazing surprises for you. So stick around to the end of this video. And once I get into macronutrients, I want you to really pay attention, right? Because what I think may happen with this video is some people are in a position in the academy where they're going to understand what I'm saying. And they're going to say, oh, this is awesome. And, and, and here's some words they've heard before. This might be new stuff for some of you. So, you know, I just want you to make sure you're in a quiet place. Try to just really be able to pay attention to your screen because we're going to get into some light, what I call light beginners biochemistry just a little bit, but it's going to be mostly uh, just summaries and general information that can really help you lock down this macronutrient thing. So we're talking about changing your life here. And for those of you that don't know, again, Academy members, you've heard this before. Those of you that are new to me, I just want to give you a little background. My name is Justin Nault, and I am the founder of Clovis. Um, I founded Clovis back in 2014. I am a certified nutritional therapist. I am a certified specialist in sports nutrition. I invented a line of nutritional powders called the Perfect Paleo Powder. I invented them in my kitchen back in 2014, and now they're for sale all over the place on the internet. Um, so also, I have helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people with one-on-one -on -one nutrition consulting. That's what I do. That's my main jam, is helping people change their lives for the better in just the last two months alone. I've made over 315 custom nutrition plans with custom macronutrients. That's right, 315 people in 60 days and the results have been staggering. We've had people lose 50 pounds in six weeks, 20 pounds in six weeks, 40 pounds in 60 days, 11 pounds in seven days, crazy. Basically any type of result that you can think of, fat loss, we've done it, we've improved people's health over and over and over, hundreds and hundreds of people. Now that you know a little bit about me, hope you trust me, let's dive in. We're going to talk about macronutrients, how eating fat can save your life. Okay, again, we got a lot of questions about what happens when you go over one macro, under another macro, miss your macros all together. What happens if I go over or under on certain macros? And the answer is it's different for every single macronutrient. That's why this AMA is going to have three sections and I'm going to hit every single macronutrient for you. Okay, so I'm going to break them down one by one because each macro must be handled properly, must be handled with care. We have fat, protein and carbohydrates. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call them carbohydrates. Understand that anytime I am talking about carbohydrates, I am talking about net carbohydrates. Things like dietary fiber, the human body can't digest them. They're a moot, moot point, literally. So total carbohydrates minus dietary fiber equals net carbs. Use those as inter interchangeable terms right now. Anytime I say carbohydrates, I am using the term carbohydrates as usable carbohydrates usable carbohydrates equals net carbohydrates. So anytime I say carbs or carbohydrates, we're talking about usable carbohydrates just to keep things simple, okay? So these macros are the three keys to optimal health and I'm gonna tell you about all of them. Let's get started. As you guys know, I like to talk about beliefs. Beliefs are in charge of everything. Your belief system is what dictates your behavior. And the problem with that is a lot of the beliefs that we hold, we've held our entire lives and we don't know why because some well-meaning grown-up told us something when we were eight and we decided to hang on to that forever, which is what the U.S. government does. Okay? That's what we're going to talk about first. Belief number one, this is kind of a three-part belief number one, is basically eating fat will make me fat slash raise my cholesterol slash kill me, right? Eating fat will kill me. Eating fat's gonna give me bad cholesterol, it's gonna make me fat, it's gonna kill me, right? That's what the mainstream has led you to believe. Low fat everything, low fat yogurt, low fat milk, eat lean chicken breast with no fat, don't eat red meat because it has fat in it, saturated fat, blah, 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 right? Let me explain something to you. In terms of your overall health, fat is the single most important macronutrient 
and I want it to make up most of your diet. That's right. I want you to eat more fat than anything else. Literally. That is the key to a long, happy life. Fat should be the number one macronutrient in your diet. So when we talk about macronutrient ratios, the different percentages of fat, protein, and carbohydrates, fat is at the top of the list. Okay? So sometimes people will say, oh, well, my fat grams are less than my protein grams. Yes, that's because fat has more calories per gram. This is also why the low fat craze started because people believed in calories that more calories means you're going to get fat and less calories means you're going to lose weight. We know that's wrong because there's a giant obesity epidemic. So clearly that doesn't work, but that's the reason why you're uh, when I give you macros, your fat number may be less than protein because there's more calories. So it is actually more fat just content contained in less grams. Does that make sense? Okay. So the doctors have had this wrong for decades. Eating fat does not make you fat. Eating fat does not make you fat. Eating fat makes you thin. And if you don't believe me or you need it from someone who's more famous than I am, check out the book, Eat Fat, Get Thin by Dr. Um, blah, Dr. Mark Hyman for Eat Fat, Get Thin. Dr. Mark, Mark Hyman. That's a fantastic book. And it actually explains the source of where all this fat nonsense came from. And it's all political, lobbies, money, nonsense, literally genocide for the sake of money. That's why we believe that low fat is good. Also read Why We Get Fat and What to Do About It by Gary Taubes. That is investigative journalism at its finest. Goes through all the nutrition information from the last several decades and none of it points to fat being bad for you. None of it. None of it. None of it. That's right. None of it. And we still have the food pyramid and all this nonsense, right? So let's go to the cholesterol question. What if I told you that in the 1950s, big sugar companies paid off scientists to create false clinical studies that linked dietary fat to heart disease? That's exactly what happened. Okay. This is not a secret. They were paid off. They were paid $5,000 at the time, which in 2018 money is somewhere around the equivalent of $50,000. So these guys get paid $50,000. They release a false report linking dietary fat to heart disease. And as a result, we've had 40 years of genocide and an obesity epidemic. It's insanity, right? This is a public article. This was released in the New York times in 2015. Somehow people missed it. No, millions of people read it. But we can't make any change. We're not the politicians. We're not the lobbyists. We can't change. And the government is too stubborn. Okay. There's no link between dietary fat and heart disease whatsoever. In fact, only 25% of the cholesterol in your entire body is from your diet. Doesn't matter how much cholesterol you eat. The most, the largest percentage of the cholesterol floating around in your body, that came from your diet is going to be 25% of your total cholesterol at most. So that means 75% of the cholesterol floating around in your body is created in your body. It's from a process called lipogenesis. So on top of that, it only makes cholesterol if it thinks it needs it. So the more fat you eat, the less cholesterol you make. So eat more fat, lower cholesterol levels. I know that sounds crazy. And the government will not reverse their stance on this because one, it makes them look really dumb. It, it's a huge problem with trust and the American people and trusting them. And then we have the lobbyist issues. There are a lot of companies selling high grain, high sugar. They're multi-billion dollar companies, Kraft, Kellogg, whoever else, and they're paying the politicians. That's exactly how this stuff is happening. It's straight up government conspiracy. So here's, here's an example, right? All throughout history, we're wrong, we're wrong all the time. And science, the whole point of science is to disprove beliefs that we held prior to having better science, right? Things change when we could eventually look under a microscope and see a human cell. Would you rather get advice from a doctor from the 1940s or a doctor from 2018? Which would you rather have, right? It's the exponential growth of technology. It's, it's a no brainer. So take smoking, for instance, doctors used to smoke cigarettes in the office while seeing their patients. They would prescribe certain brands of cigarettes for little kids who had asthma. Have them smoke this cigarette at every meal to help their asthma, right? We look back on that now as those people are Neanderthal cavemen. They were as stupid as stupid can be. I can't believe how dumb they were. And yet we still take nutrition advice from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Seems interesting, right? I mean, really, I mean, that's, that's how crazy this is. So the thing is what happened with cigarettes? Eventually people figured out that cigarettes were terrible, right? 
That's what happens. The tides turn. That's what's going to happen with this. Right now, you're watching Justin, and I'm crazy Justin. And what does he know? He's not a doctor, and blah, 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 blah. I'm just the crazy guy that's preaching this high-fat diet to you, right? I promise you, save this video. Bookmark it on your Facebook. Rip it with some software to save a Facebook video. I'll send it to you, whatever you need me to do, right? Save this video. Mark my words. 10 years from now, every single mainstream expert is going to be telling you that the only way to save your life is to lower carbohydrates, increase your fat, and take in a moderate amount of protein. That's what every single person is going to be telling you. I will no longer be crazy Justin. I will be vindicated, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Right now, I'm still doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. Okay, so what happened with cigarettes, we figure out they've been terrible for us this whole time. So finally, it takes till 1994 for there to be a class action nationwide lawsuit against the big tobacco companies because they lied to us about it not being addictive, about it not being bad to us. There's a giant class action lawsuit for billions of dollars, right? Why hasn't that happened with this fat thing? So we have science coming out that proves we need fat for every single function in our human cell. But we can't do a class action lawsuit against the government. They're the government. The government does whatever the hell it wants, whenever the hell it wants, and it's a game of money. This is where we get into conspiracy theories, but there's nothing we can do. So all you can do is read the books I'm telling you about, do your research, listen to me. The fact of the matter is widespread adoption of the food pyramid led to exponential growth in the obesity crisis for all humans, adults and children. The children one breaks my freaking heart because it's never existed throughout all of human history. There have never been obese kids, and now 19% of our kids are obese. It's disgusting. We need to burn down the food pyramid. We need to remove it from everything, right? Crazy, crazy. There's an entire wall at my nephew's school, my nephew Jackson. He has an entire wall with the food pyramid, these cute little cartoon kids climbing the food pyramid. Make sure you get your healthy whole grains and four servings of fruit a day and don't eat any fat, right? It's brainwashing, it's child abuse, it's genocide, straight up, okay? So now let's talk about some science. Here's the truth. Cholesterol is required for every single function in every single cell in your entire body. That's how important it is. For example, your brain, your noggin, right? The reason I can do these AMAs with you is because I have plenty of omega-3 fatty acids in my diet. I can talk for five hours if you need me to. My brain is sharp as a freaking tack. Now your brain is made up mostly of fat and the largest fat that makes up your brain is DHA. So 90% of the fats in your brain are DHA. That is one of three different omega-3s. We'll talk about omega-3s, but it is an omega-3 fatty acid. Makes up 90% of your brain. Your neurons that fire back and forth, if I go like this, my neurons are sending signals for me to raise my arm. 50% of the weight of the membrane of that neuron is DHA. So if I don't have DHA, I'm screwed. Where does DHA come from? In the required doses, it comes from animal protein and only animal protein. Don't let anybody tell you different. Fish, meat, that's it. Right? So we'll talk about the omega-3s that's found in plants because that's completely different. But I'm gonna tell you a story. I have a genetic cholesterol disorder called FH. FH is familial hypercholesterolemia. It's still difficult for me to say. Familial hypercholesterolemia. Layman's terms, I genetically have high cholesterol no matter what I do. So for that reason, that's my problem and your benefit. And I say that because I trust my heart health to a guy named Dr. William Cromwell. William Cromwell's in Raleigh and Durham, and I fly out there, it's North Carolina, right? Yeah, I think so, we're next to Duke University. But I fly out there just to meet with Dr. Cromwell because he's considered one of the top living cholesterol experts on planet Earth. The guy is that good. I fly to North Carolina just to see him, and I spend five hours with him when I go out there. We do ultrasound, we look at any potential plaque, my arteries, I pick his brain on everything you can possibly think of. It's that important. This is the guy that I go to, one of the top living cholesterol experts in the world. That's where the knowledge I'm about to drop on you comes from, so trust me, you're getting this from an incredibly good source, okay? And much more expensive than you're currently paying for this information, which is zero, <laughs> okay? So quick lesson about cholesterol. If you go to a lipid panel with your doctor, no, normal traditional doctor, not a cholesterol expert, not a functional medicine doctor who has training in nutrition, you say, I want a lipid panel, I want to check out my cholesterol, right? They're going to give you HDL, LDL, they'll give you total cholesterol, they'll give you triglycerides. And they'll say, your total cholesterol is high, you're going to die, we need to put you on a statin. They're using numbers that are useless, okay? They break it down, way oversimplified, HDL good, LDL bad, triglycerides bad because that's stored body fat. It says nothing about particle numbers. Particle numbers tell the entire story. Total cholesterol tells us nothing. Now I did do this in one AMA before. Picture your arteries as an interstate, right? 
your interstate is flowing traffic. You have cars, trucks, and you have passengers. The passengers are the cholesterol. The passengers are trying to go to work. They're trying to go do their job, but they need a way to get there. They need to commute. They commute in cars and trucks. Cars, LDL, tiny little particles, right? Small, low density lipoprotein. HDL, trucks, bigger, high density lipo lipoprotein, right? So they're all carrying passengers. Now, it's not the number of passengers that causes a traffic jam. It's the number of vehicles the number of particles. If you have more particles, the particles bump into each other, bump off of each other, hit the wall of the artery where there's tiny little cracks, boom, they get stuck. Now you have a traffic jam, boom, 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 a pile up that's stuck to the arteries and that pile up rupturing is what causes these big heart episodes, all right? So that's how this works. The particle number tells the story and most of your insurance will not cover tests with particle numbers. That's how screwed up this is. If you had a lipid panel done from your normal primary care doctor and they didn't tell you particle numbers, you wasted your time. They stuck you with a needle for no reason, okay? So the problem is not the little cars, LDL, not even that bad, HDL, healthy cholesterol, right? The issue is VLDL, very low density lipoprotein. Think of these as little mopeds or smart cars, right? Who would drive that on the highway? I don't know, it's crazy, right? These tiny, tiny little cars. Excess carbohydrates get converted into VLDL, very low density lipoprotein, in your liver, spit out into your bloodstream. So now you get a traffic jam, you have these tiny little particles, they get bumped, hit the wall, they stick instantly, instantly. So you need your VLDL particle number to know anything about your cholesterol risk. If you send me blood work and it doesn't have it, I don't wanna see it. People keep sending me their cholesterol numbers and saying, here Justin, check this out, am I at risk, am I at risk? I don't know. You're giving me a basic lipid panel, I can't do anything with that information, literally, nothing, okay? so. Anyway, long story short, eat more fat, you'll get higher HDL particles, more trucks. You may get higher total cholesterol, which is not a problem. Possibly higher LDL, but probably not. Your LDL will probably go down. Also required for human survival, LDL is not as bad as you think it is. Now, VLDL is the dangerous stuff. Lower carbohydrates, you get lower VLDL, period. That's, that's biochemistry. That's the only place that VLDL comes from, okay? And you'll get lower triglycerides since fat is not being stored, it's being utilized for energy. Long story short, eat fat, improve cholesterol. So one thing I wanna hit on real quick is hormones. This is a super quick, super simple thing. Cholesterol is a precursor for all steroid hormones. You cannot create any steroid hormones without cholesterol. So I want you to think about it. Cholesterol is a precursor for all steroid hormones, yes, including testosterone, dudes. I had a couple guys ask me about testosterone. This is where we're really, really gonna talk about testosterone. Okay? Steroid hormones control your metabolism, inflammation, immune system, salt and water balance, development of sexual characteristics, and the ability to withstand physical injury. That's right. With less testosterone, you're more prone to get injured in the gym, doing CrossFit, or some stuff like that. This is where the low T problem comes from, right? The low T problem has only been around low T commercials on the radio and TV. This has never been a thing throughout all of human history. It's like childhood obesity. This has never been a thing. Never been a thing until we started putting men on low fat diets. You go to the doctor, oh, you got that beer belly, we need to put you on a low fat diet, then all of a sudden you hear a commercial, fellas, have things changed in the bedroom? Are you feeling sluggish and fatigued? You don't have that same sparkle in your eye when you look at your wife, right? No, dude, you just are eating low fat and you don't have testosterone. That's the issue. Erectile dysfunction is not a real thing. Erectile dysfunction is a term, look this up, like I'm saying, I don't, I'm not some secret holder. Look this up. Erectile dysfunction was a term that was invented by a marketing company that Pfizer, who sells Viagra, paid to come up with the term. It's not a real thing, okay? So dudes, you keep asking me about how to, how to boost your testosterone. If you have a hot date tomorrow, right now while you're watching this, if you have a hot date tomorrow night, I want you to eat six to eight whole eggs and take down a 12 ounce ribeye fat marbled ribeye loaded with cholesterol. Put that down, I guarantee you'll have a better date than you would have had. This stuff is simple, people. It's biochemistry, but people don't put two and two together. Why the food pyramid adoption goes like this, and the low T problem goes like this, and the obesity epidemic goes like this, and childhood obesity goes like this. How do we not put this together? It's logical thinking, right? Logical. Now, so eat fat, boost testosterone, dudes. Also, there are no blanket statements. I want you to understand. I can't fully practice what I preach here because I have a genetic condition called familial hypercholesterolemia. Everyone's different. 
I can't actually do what I tell you to do, the same macronutrient ratios. I need much higher protein and slightly less fat than I tell you to eat. The only thing that I have to worry about is saturated fat because I have an LDL receptor issue. That's familial hypercholesterolemia, okay? You don't have that. Do what I'm telling you to do. But what I'm trying to get across is individualized nutrition. No two people are alike. I call you guys beautiful snowflakes in the academy. You're all beautiful snowflakes. That's why when you come to me, it's on an individual basis. People ask me all the time, guys ask me, dude, what do you do? Justin, what do you do? I wanna do what you do. No, you don't, man. Cause you don't have the same blood work as me. You don't have the same genetics as me. I have spent tens of thousands, tens of tens of tens of that. I could have bought houses with the money that I have spent on biohacking and learning about myself, genetic testing and blood work all the time. Functional medicine doctors, $400 an hour, right? So let me impart this knowledge on you. You don't want to do what I do. Let me teach you what to do, okay? So what happens if I go over my fat macro? Nothing, assuming that you adjust your carbohydrates accordingly. And we're going to get there when we talk about net carbs. That was a lot of stuff. Uh, let's take a little break. Let me know if I'm talking too fast. Um, Cause this is, uh, anytime we start late too, I find myself just going blah, 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 blah and talking really, really fast. Brittany Bolton, I was thinking, hey, I'm just telling you what guys think. You know, you heard hot date. The commercial was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. What else we got? Fat is number one. Yes, Brittany. Even vegetarians eat fat and pescatarians. All right, cool. You guys have any questions about that? Favorite AMA so far? Really, Jackie? Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it not, you know, incredibly ridiculously sciencey. Uh, excuse me while I drink this for a second. Give us the geek stuff. I am giving you the geek stuff, I promise. I'll give you a preview of geek stuff. You don't want geek stuff. You think you want geek stuff. Everybody thinks they want geek stuff. Trust me. When you spend thousands of hours studying biochemistry, you don't want geek stuff anymore, okay? Uh, all right, so let's talk about number two. Again, we're going on beliefs here. So what's a big belief that I get a lot? Animal protein can kill you, particularly red meat. Meat will kill you. Meat causes cancer. Meat causes organ failure. Meat causes... No, stop speaking. You're sounding dumb. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it, right? Uh, there is no link between organ failure and red meat. There is no link between cancer and red meat. It doesn't exist. So I want to bring this up because I've heard this over and over in the academy. A lot of times it'll be somebody reaching out to me on behalf of one of their parents who's a little bit older. So the two main points that I hear is someone who has had renal issues, that's kidney disease. They've had kidney disease in the past. They're afraid of high protein because their doctor, who they should fire immediately, has told them that their renal issues were caused by high protein. No, that's simply not true. I'll walk you through that. The science isn't there, okay? Uh, people want to get protein from plants. That's number two. I get vegetarians and vegans. We're going to talk about Brittany in a second because she told me I could. Um, vegetarians and vegans. We're going to chat about them because there's a million reasons why people don't eat meat and I respect all of them. If you're an animal rights activist, that's awesome. You're a member of PETA, that's awesome. If you're a vegan and you're a Buddhist monk, awesome. I respect that more than you know. Like, it doesn't matter how much I tease or joke or whatever. I genuinely respect you. I think that's freaking awesome because you stand for something. A lot of people don't. Okay, so first things first, let's get that out of the way. I respect what you stand for, but it's not gonna give you optimal health. That's all there is to it. If you wanna be a vegan Buddhist monk, that's fine. You're probably gonna live a little shorter than I am. It's all right, just one of those things. And I'm gonna walk you through it because I work with vegans and vegetarians all the time. And if they don't wanna change to eating meat, I just try to get them to be as healthy as they can possibly be. I give them the tools and tricks they need to try to optimize that. I don't ask them to change, that's not my job. Okay, so let's start with this idea that a high protein diet can cause renal issues or any kind of organ failure? No. First things first, I ask people the same question and I have a little fun with them. I'm teasing them a little bit and I hope they don't mind. They say, well, I can't do a high protein diet because I had kidney issues. And I just write them back and I go, what's the threshold for a high protein diet? And then I wait. And I never get a response or I get a hmm? question mark or I don't really know. I never really thought about it. Well, I'm not putting you on a high protein diet. I'm absolutely not. I would never have you put your protein at more than 30% of your total calories. Anyone's kidneys can handle that. Even sick kidneys can handle that. Okay? 
So first of all, let's get that out of your head. What do you think a high protein diet is? Bodybuilders, endurance athletes, they eat like 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So I did this math to give you an example. I'm a 165 pound man right now, right? So I'd be eating 198 grams of protein a day. I mean, I write to some women, I tell them they need to eat 93 grams of protein or 103 grams of protein. And they're like, I can't do a high protein diet. I'm like, what exactly do you think is high protein? You need enough protein to survive. Amino acids are the building blocks of every single tissue in your entire body. Bones, organs, skin, teeth, hair, it's all made of amino acids. You need their little Legos that piece together and build your whole body. You need protein to survive. Amino acids are the building blocks of life. The single best source of amino acids on planet Earth is animal protein. That's all there is to it. So I'll give you an example. I just finished a mass gains protocol where I ate, this is a fun story too, I ate over 300 grams of protein a day for 30 days straight. Over 300 grams of protein. It's not fun. I gained a boatload of weight and then just for fun I went boom and lost eight pounds in seven days just because I wanted to prove that I can. I can do whatever I want to do with this body at any given time using biochemistry, using science. Super easy. But I ate over 300 grams of protein a day for 30 days straight and my blood work is beautiful. There's another guy right now you can look up. His name is Dr. Sean Baker. He's famous for the carnivore diet. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast. He just did Rob Wolf's podcast. He's eaten nothing but four pounds of meat. Nothing but meat. No vegetables, no starches, no nothing. He's eaten nothing but meat. Four pounds of it at least per day. That's over 1,800 grams of meat every day for 15 months. And he was on Rob Wolf's podcast and Rob Wolf is a genius. He has a chemistry degree and he went through every single page of this guy's blood work, took his blood, went through all the blood work and said, dude, you're healthy as a horse, man. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And he's eating four pounds of meat a day. Okay. So we have to question these things that society has taught us to believe. Red meat's going to kill you. This dude, like he deadlifts 500 pounds for reps. He's like an absolute savage. He holds multiple world records in his age group. He's about to break another world record for like rowing on the rowing machine. He's like going for another world record. And the guy's a complete savage eating four pounds of meat a day. Okay. So what happened is your kidneys are responsible in metabolic processes. They're responsible for excreting nitrogen basically byproducts of nitrogen. They excrete them from the system. So they filter out nitrogen, basically. Nitrogen byproducts, right? And nitrogen gets in our system mostly through animal products. So people think that you're just gonna overload the kidneys. You're not. You, I mean, this guy's eating four pounds of meat a day and his kidneys are just fine. Kidney failure does not come because of meat. So get that out of your head. And even if you have sick kidneys, it's crucial that you limit simple sugars, that you lower carbohydrates, that you get adequate hydration and adequate electrolytes, okay? That's really important. If you study all of the conclusions from all of the studies surrounding high protein, it has exactly zero negative effect on the kidneys of healthy individuals. And even in unhealthy individuals with prior kidney issues, they can easily handle protein amounts that I recommend around 30% of daily calories. I'll never have you over that. It's not gonna hurt your kidneys, I promise you. So, long story short, there is no reason to limit protein intake to prevent or repair kidney issues, okay? Now, new studies have shown the single biggest issue with renal issues is tied to, you guessed it, we talked about it in AMA number nine with all the little kiddos, your gut microbiome. Turns out that the latest cutting edge studies shows a direct correlation between an imbalanced gut microbiome and kidney failure, okay? Now, the issues that we're dealing with in the gut are low stomach acid, fermentation, leaky gut syndrome. What does all that come from? Lectins, we talk about all the time. Lectins equals leaky gut equals inflammation equals sick organs. Systemic inflammation equals sick organs organs. This is not caused by protein people, not caused by animal products. Okay. So stop thinking like that. So the second part we got to hit on is plant protein. You would have to eat pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds to come anywhere close to the potency of amino acids. We're going to talk about Brittany again. She learned this the hard way because I was really, really trying to help her with this. It's not even close, right? Not to mention a lot of vegetarians say, well, there's this food and this food that has this essential amino acid and this amino acid profile and quinoa and legumes and nuts and seeds. All these things have these great amino acid profiles, right? The issue is they're all loaded with lectins. You can't digest that protein. This is an issue called bioavailability. To give you a quick rundown of bioavailability, let's talk about spinach. People like to talk about spinach having calcium, right? I don't need milk products. One, you really don't need milk products, but they say, I don't need meat and animal products because I get my calcium from spinach. 
your body can absorb 5% of the calcium. So if you look at a nutrition label on spinach and you look at the calcium amount, understand you can only absorb 5% of that. 95% of what's listed, you can't absorb. That's the problem with plants. Plants have things like oxalates and lectins and all these things to prevent predators from eating them that ruin the bioavailability of their nutrient density. So you, you're measuring nutrient density under a microscope or whatever, or burning calories on, a, on a, one of those Bunsen burners or something, doing some scientific stuff saying this is the energy that's contained in this plant. That doesn't mean you can digest it. It does not mean you can digest it. Please, dear God, please learn this, right? On top of that, without meat, you can't get omega omega-3 fatty acids, essential omega-3 fatty acids. Earlier, we talked about your brain being 90% of the fats making up your brain are DHA. So EPA, DHA, these two omega-3s that come from meats are most notably found in wild-caught fish. That's what I would tell you to get them from. Wild-caught fish, shellfish, that kind of thing. It's also, that's one of the differences between grain-fed and grass-fed beef is the omega-3 fatty acid profile. Like grass-fed beef has like six times more omega-3s and grain-fed beef has way more omega-6s, which are actually inflammatory and way less omega-3s. So grass-fed beef, the omega-3 profile, I don't know if you knew that, but that's another reason why grass-fed beef is so much better. And that's why fish are touted as the best source of omega-3 fatty acids because they are. So what the vegetarians and vegans love to say is, I eat seaweed or I eat flaxseed or I eat this and that, right? And they're getting the third omega-3 fatty acid, which is called ALA, okay? Alpha linolenic acid. Now, ALA is an omega-3, but let's talk about bioavailability. So the argument is if I eat a ton of ALA, it's gonna convert into EPA and DHA in my body. But let me tell you right now, do you wanna know how much ALA is converted into EPA and DHA? Because it's hilarious. It's literally hilarious. They eat a ton of ALA thinking that they're doing something good for their brain, trying to get that DHA for their brain. Less than one half of 1% of the ALA you ingest from plants will be converted into EPA and DHA. I'm gonna repeat that for you. Less than one half of 1%. So for every 100 grams of ALA you eat, you're getting less than half a gram of omega-3s that your body needs to survive. Good luck with that. Good luck. It's crazy. Like I, I, it's, it's so difficult to wrap my head around how people can understand this. And I know they're understanding it because they already have a biases. They're saying, okay, I don't want to eat animals. So I need to figure out, I need to look for information that confirms my biases. So that's what they're doing. You can find this stuff and you can find all sorts of vegan propaganda films. Go watch What the Health, right? It's nonsense. Absolute nonsense, a complete lack of understanding, a complete lack of biochemistry. And I'm not even touching on vitamins here. So I'll give you a fun example, all right? The people that want science, right? Let's talk science for a second. Okay. So micronutrients are vitamins and minerals. Your macronutrients, fat, protein, carbohydrates are measured in grams. They're big, macro, meaning larger. Micro, meaning small. Micronutrients, micronutrients vitamin A, D, K, E, vitamin C, all your B vitamins. So for the sake of science, people who want science, let's talk about B vitamins. So vegetarians, vegans like to say that they can supplement B vitamins or they can get B vitamins from like algae or things like that, right? So what they're getting is even supplemental forms. So let's just, let's just take vitamin B6, right? So vitamin B6, all of the supplements that you're getting are pyridoxine form. It's vitamin B6 pyridoxine, okay? Now what the body needs is vitamin B6 pyridoxal. Pyridoxal, vitamin B6, is the only vitamin B6 that your body can use. You can take all the B6 paradoxine you want, but it still needs to be converted in your body from paradoxine form to paradoxal form before the body can use it. What does the body need to convert paradoxine B6 into paradoxal B6? It needs vitamin B2, riboflavin. What are the main sources of vitamin B2 riboflavin? liver, kidney, heart, beef, turkey, chicken, all animal products. So you have these people who are supplementing 
paradoxing vitamin B6, saying, I'm good, I got vitamin B6, and it can't get converted because they lack vitamin B2. It can't get converted to B6 paradoxal, so their body just excretes it. What have you done? You've spent money on a supplement and peed it into the toilet. You can't use it. Okay? There's just a little bit of science for you. There is so much more to this than the vegetarians and the vegans understand. It's not even funny. If you're even considering vegetarian or vegan, I highly suggest, or if you want to read a, a, a point of view that's different than your own and see how your belief system stands up, which is what people are supposed to do, if you're a Christian, read a book by an atheist. See how your beliefs stand up, right? And vice versa. That's what everybody should be doing. If you're on the search for truth, that's what you should be doing, okay? So if, you're, if you want to see how your beliefs stand up, read The Vegetarian Myth. Read the book, The Vegetarian Myth. Come back to me. We'll talk about it. There is so much more to the story than you realize. So the truth is there is no link at all, but cancer, kidney failure, heart disease, whatever, there's no link at all between that and ethically sourced meats. So if you want to go find me a clinical study, a double-blind placebo-controlled study that's not a survey study that does correlation, not causation, if you want to find me a study that shows 100% grass-fed organic beef causes heart disease or causes kidney failure or causes cancer, find me that study. Happy hunting. Go find it. I've been at this for years. I can't wait for you to go find me that study and bring it back to me and I'll put my hands up and I'll admit that I'm wrong. Okay? I guarantee you I'll be the first to put my hands up and admit that, you're wrong, that I'm wrong. But go find that study for me. Also, summary, there is no way to get all of your required amino acids omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins and minerals from plants alone without massive supplementation. And even if you do supplement, then what's going to happen is those supplements, like those B6s and B12s and all those things, they're coming from animal products. You might get them in capsule form, which saves you having to cut into the meat and eat it yourself and see the blood and all that, but you're still taking in dead animals. That's all there is to it. If you want optimal health as a vegetarian or a vegan, you're probably going to have to supplement something that contains animal products somewhere along the way. That's just the truth. It's the way we're designed to eat. Um, so Josh, I don't know if we can show, can we show that picture that we wanted to show with uh, Brittany's comment? Or would we have to? Sure. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys a story. My friend Brittany Bolton, she's Canadian. Yeah, she's awesome. And we went on a really cool trip up in Vancouver. She's great, but um, she's been a vegetarian since she was like six years old. So lifelong vegetarian. Um, so what I'll probably do, we'll, we'll show you this in a second here. Um, so I was trying to get her off this vegetarian train and I mean I didn't want to mess with her belief system like I try not to with vegetarians and vegans. I just explained to her where I always start with is hey you can add eggs. No animals are harmed using eggs so you don't have to worry about it. Like they're, they're not fertilized. You're not killing a baby chick which some people think which is crazy. Um, literally it's not harming anything. They're just going to rot or a raccoon's going to eat them or something. So I got her on eggs but the issue is if eggs are the only source of protein nobody wants, she doesn't want to eat 8, 9, 10, 12 eggs a day to hit her protein the, the macronutrient ratio that I gave her right. So I'm like really really pressing so she tried just the egg thing and doing the vegetarian approved list which I do have if you want it I'll send it to you and so finally she decided she's going to add in some collagen protein and because she really doesn't like the idea of red meat, she went with fish collagen, which is awesome. That's fantastic. So I want to show you this comment from her. She posted this. I'll read it for you. It's been just shy of two weeks since taking an amino-filled protein powder for the first time in my life as a vegetarian. I normally eat 90 to 100 grams of protein versus the 20 to 30 I used to get, which is a big improvement. There have been two big changes I have noticed since starting the protein powder. One, deeper sleeps. Two, more intelligent. Number two sounds crazy, but I'm much more alert, quicker, smarter in the workplace. I'm retaining information that I used to be unable to retain, and I'm better remembering things that I normally forget, like names. I feel intelligently unstoppable. Go protein, go. Guys, that's two weeks. That's two weeks of upping her protein to a very, very, very moderate ratio I think we're doing either 25 or 30% of her daily calories are protein, right? Nothing crazy, no adrenal failure. It's not gonna happen, okay? So, what happens if I go over my protein macro? Nothing, assuming you adjust your carbohydrates correctly, okay? So, let's check some comments real quick. How we looking? Yay, Britt. Love that gif. Life changing. I'm so happy as a lone vegetarian you're covering, yeah. <laughs> we have a few in there, I'm pretty sure. 
Missy, you're addicted. Awesome. Come back next week. This is awesome. My brain hurts. I told you. People try to say they want science. Nikki, you're lying. You know you didn't like the part about B6. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hey, Sean. Plant protein did nothing but make me sick. Yeah, a lot of the plant proteins are loaded with lectins. They're no good. All right, so let's move on. I'm taking too much time here. Always, guys, I talk too much. This is just crazy. You want me to keep going? Can I keep going? Can I keep going, please? Hmm, I got more to say. One more macronutrient. We need to talk about carbohydrates. The belief is we need carbohydrates. We need carbohydrates for survival. We need carbohydrates for growth. Kids need carbohydrates to grow. We need them for athletic performance. We need them for this, that, the other thing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, simply not true. For a deep dive on this, check out a book called Primal Endurance by Mark Sisson. For all you athletes out there, that's, it's really the CrossFitters and stuff that like get in my face about this stuff. They're just like, you need carbohydrates. And I'm like, okay, let's have a deadlift competition because I don't, I don't need carbohydrates. You want to do this? No. Okay. Sure. Awesome. Ain't nothing to prove here, right? I don't, <laughs> there's no secrets here. You don't need carbohydrates. They're not required for survival. They're not required for athletic performance. Many of the top, acts, top athletes in the world are utilizing fat for fuel now, and they're breaking world records. So I'll give you an example. We had an academy member that shared this the other day. I think his name is Zach Miter or Zach Mitter. I'm not sure how to say the dude's name. But there was an article put out about Zach Mitter, I think it is. He is a 100-mile runner. He's an ultra-endurance ultra endurance athlete, world record holder for ultra-endurance races. 100 mile races. Understand, people have a bucket list of like doing one marathon, 26.2 miles. This guy runs 100 mile races and he eats almost zero carbohydrates. He relies on fat for fuel for 100 plus mile races. So let me spell this out for you. If a 100 mile race runner doesn't need carbohydrates, you don't need carbohydrates for your cushy beach body workout in your living room. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. They're not required, okay? Of the three major macronutrients, only two are essential. Essential versus non-essential. Essential means required for human survival. You have to ingest it because the body can't make it by itself. Non-essential means not required for human survival because the body can make it. Your body can make its own glucose from glycogen stores and from amino acids. It can strip amino acids and make glucose, right? Glucose is carbohydrates. So your body can make its own glucose. Carbs are literally not required for human survival. If you don't have fat and protein, you die. Literally, you die. Without fat and protein, you die. Without carbohydrates, you can live a long, happy life. Literally. And your body knows this. If you rescued a survivor on an on a island, they've been on an island and starving for three weeks, and you brought him to a buffet, he's going to run right to the butter, scoop it with his hands, and start eating butter. That's what he's going to do. His brain is telling him to. He, he's not in control of this. You could have you know, Doritos laid out for him, and he's going to go to the butter and eat it because you need these things for human survival, and your brain will make you crave them when you've been short on them for too long. Literally. I mean, these are true. There are documented cases of this. It's really crazy. So without carbohydrates, you can live a long, happy life. Any and all problems that spawn from eating too much fat or too much protein only happen when combined with excess carbohydrates. So, all right, I'm going to use this board real quick. I'm going to show you if we have excess carbs plus excess fat, you have a massive energy surplus. So excess carbs plus excess fat, your two sources of fuel, you end up with a massive energy surplus. Fat is stored instead of being burned for fuel. So all of this excess fat is going to get stored because you can't burn it because you're too busy here. And these excess carbs are going to get stored as fat as well in the form of triglycerides. So you're going to get triglycerides. So that, that's how carbs are stored. You have a, a glycerol molecule that attaches and stores it as triglycerides, right? So excess fat. When there's a surplus, gets stored as fat. Excess carbs gets stored. This is a fat creation machine. This surplus, fat, 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 fat. The combination of fat and carbs is the most dangerous dietary habit you can have in the world. Okay, let's move on from that. We have excess carbs, so let's just keep excess carbs, plus excess protein. Now again, you have a massive surplus, but you have a glucose surplus. Because once your glycogen stores are filled up, any extra 
is converted into glucose. So even protein is then converted into glucose. Glucose is then stored as triglycerides, as fat, stored as body fat. So now excess carbs plus excess protein, glucose surplus, body fat storage, guaranteed 100%. So let's hit one more thing. Excess carbs plus low fat or low protein equals, not even gonna write this out, anemia, type two diabetes, high cholesterol, cognitive dysfunction, Alzheimer's, dementia, excess body fat. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Your body cannot function in this. And this is what all the doctors are telling you to do. Get 60% of your daily calories from carbohydrates, limit your fat to less than 20%, and get the rest from protein, right? It's insane. It's insane. It's where the obesity epidemic comes from. We didn't even talk about cognitive disorders. I lost two of my grandparents to dementia and Alzheimer's. And I promise you that their low fat diet had something to do with it. We're 100% French Canadian. We did nothing but eat carbs my whole life growing up. Okay? It's crazy. I'm telling you, there are people right now, there are doctors, functional medicine doctors, that are re reversing all symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia. Reversing all symptoms in elderly patients. And they're doing it with high fat, low carb diets. I'm telling you right now, stuff is crazy. The reason why. The, the excess carbs, this is the common denominator for all problems, right? Is excess carbohydrates. It's crazy. So just so you guys know, I'm not, I'm not anti-carb, I'm anti-simple carb. Even if you just cut sugar and grains, I'd be super happy with that. I won't even touch fruit. I won't even talk about fruit today. All my academy members will be happy. I won't even touch on fruit. If you just remove grains and processed sugar, your health will improve. Get rid of the simple carbohydrates because micronutrients are important. I'm a big fan of leafy green vegetables, colorful vegetables, getting all those micronutrients, right? There's a difference between survival and optimal. You can survive without carbohydrates, but getting in a lot of leafy green vegetables and all those micronutrients, those are critical for brain, brain function too. There's a difference between just surviving and optimal. Like all the RDAs, this is your RDA, 100% of your daily vitamin C. That's all just for you to survive. That's the limit you need, the limit that most people need, it's, and it's only like 70% of people is what the RDA is based on. You need that much vitamin C to not get a disease and die. So trust me, you want more than that. Uh, so for instance, when I first went paleo, I mean, I was paleo and I was eating like four bananas a day and a full bag of cashews and all these almonds and cooking stuff in almond butter and coconut and just mixing fat and carbohydrates and like, dude, I'm paleo, how come I'm not losing weight? I didn't get it. So once the carbohydrate story clicked for me, the biochemistry clicked for me, I effortlessly went from like 26% body fat to like 12% body fat. I sit right now at about 13. So I mean, it's crazy. Like my whole life has changed and I've never looked back. I just keep this weight off effortlessly. Like I said last week, I lost eight pounds in seven days because I friggin' felt like it, right? It's pretty crazy to be that in control of your body and I can teach you to do these things. So that's basically the story on carbohydrates. So the wrap up there is carbohydrate is the only non-essential macronutrient. So I'm gonna ask you a question. This is food for thought for you guys. How is it that in our society, based on the food pyramid, right? You have your food pyramid with all your carbs, right? I wanna ask you guys, just think about this logically. How is it that the only non-essential, the only non-essential macronutrient that we don't need for survival has somehow become the number one macro in America? This is a big question mark, right? Think about that. When you stop, I might seem like crazy Justin here, the high fat, low carb guy, but I want you to really think about this. Look it up. Do the research for yourself. This is a non-essential. You don't need carbohydrates for human survival, and it is somehow the number one macronutrient in America, and our kids are eating it 100% of the time. Does that make any logical sense at all? Any logical sense? And now we have a childhood obesity epidemic. One out of every five white kids will be type two diabetic by age 12. One out of every five, one out of every two African American kids will be type two diabetic by age 12. Why? Carbs, 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 carbs. That's it. This is simple stuff, guys. It's really simple, right? It's really, really simple. There's a lot of people that are gonna tell you I'm wrong. Do the basic test. Look at my video. Do you wanna look like me or the people telling you that I'm wrong? 
It's that simple, guys. This is crazy. I mean, when I, this is all I'm trying to do with Clovis, right? Is I'm trying to take the status quo, the standard mainstream of looking at things and giving you a different point of view. Getting outside of the box or outside of the pyramid. Think outside of the pyramid for a second. Just think by yourself for a second. And look at this. It's the number one macro in America and it's not required for human survival. And it leads to all these problems. Surplus, glucose sur surplus, energy surplus, fat, triglycerides. These kill you. These kill you and it comes from excess carbs. Do you guys see why I do this work? This is why I do this work. It's crazy, right? So recapping the beliefs, eating fat will make you fat, raise your cholesterol, kill you, right? Done, wrong, no, completely wrong. So we dispelled that one. Then we talked about animal proteins will kill you or they're bad for you, red meat's bad for you, blah, 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 blah. Not true, we dispelled that too. Number three, we need carbohydrates. No, we don't. They're not essential for human survival. Carbohydrates are not essential for human survival. So what happens if you go over your carbohydrates on the Clovis plan? You get fat or you don't lose weight, okay? You probably won't get fat because you're still probably taking in way less carbohydrates. I have you at less than 10% of your daily carbohydrates. Again, macronutrient ratios. So you're not gonna get fat, but you're not gonna lose the weight you wanna and you're not gonna get the crazy transformation results that I get other people. You have to lower carbohydrates for that. Okay, so recapping, macronutrients are everything. Every single person who's ever come to me from Clovis who just did a weight loss challenge at their gym, usually CrossFit gyms, where they said, hey, they gave me these macros and I did it for 30 days and I only lost like two pounds, I don't know why. And I look at their macros, they're completely backwards, like 20 grams of fat and like 135 grams of carbohydrates. Of course they didn't lose weight, but they don't know that. They're not dealing with the excess glucose in the system, right? It's crazy. So take a little break. How are we doing on time? Oh, wow, we've gone... About an hour, huh? Uh, a little less. A little less than an hour? Okay, cool. Rip the band-aids off, Christy. Some hand raisers. I like this. I'm baby stepping there, ladies. Baby steps away from the fruit salad. Throw the food salad in the trash. Don't baby step it. LeBron James, dunk that bitch in your trash can. Okay? Any questions? Hands up if you love Justin. Hands up if you love Brittany. Thanks, Brittany Bolton. You crazy Canadian pescatarian. Conversion complete. Really hit the nail on the head with the word genocide. Yeah, it's super, super sad. I know, it's, it's really tough to deal with. Uh, what else we got? Fruit is not worth it, I promise. Yes, 100%. Commerce, fast food, money, the need to hold two jobs, latchkey kids. There's always going to be obstacles. There are always going to be ways around obstacles. People get to decide if the obstacles define them or if the obstacles do not define them. I can tell you stories about people who have little to no money who make this work every single day. I promise you. Okay? Uh, what else we got? But I love fruit. Everybody loves fruit. It tastes like candy. It is candy. Toxic candy from nature. Thanks. And not really from nature. It's all GMO at this point. Every fruit you eat, even if it says non-GMO, is GMO. I guarantee you. Blame it on Kellogg's. People go nuts when he talks about fruit. Yep, everybody gets freaked out about fruit. Be nice if there were stores that carried food with no carbs. That would be fantastic. If there was just an awesome store where everything you bought. I'm going to make a grocery store that's just the approved foods list. And then you go in there and you can't make bad decisions. And your kids can't go, Mommy, I want this because it won't be there. All right, what else we got? I'm just seeing off the fruit train. AMA is masterful. Amazing. Thank you, Brittany. Made me laugh out loud. Yeah, dementia is heartbreaking, it's terrible. And my, my, my mom, both her parents, my grandmother and my grandfather, it was a long, long, painful years of suffering road. It was really, really bad, really bad. Um, so if you want a book on that, if you're dealing with dementia, pick up Brain Maker by Dr. David Perlmutter. You will not be disappointed. Pick up Brain Maker by Dr. David Perlmutter. All right, let's see what else we got, any new ones? I have lost almost two inches around my waist since I started on the 5th. That's right, you did. I'm not surprised, but I know you are, and that's awesome. Tell your friends. What else we got? I hope my excitement, yeah, I hope my excitement is contagious because I really, I care about this stuff more than anything in the world. So, uh, all right, let's see what else we got. Looking good. No wine for the first 30 days. Do yourself a favor and don't drink wine for the first 30 days. Also, wine is not a blanket statement. Go to clovis.store slash AMA. Go to AMA number two. Alcohol doesn't make you fat. And check this out. Not all wine is the same. Women love to tell me, I just like a glass of wine at night. And then I find out they're drinking some sweet muscadine wine with 30 grams of sugar per glass. It's crazy. 
All right, just join, tell us the plan. Doesn't work that way, Melinda, you gotta email me. Everybody's different, there is no blanket plan. There is no blanket plan for everybody, you're all snowflakes, okay? Uh, dry wine, we'll talk about it again. Most dry wine in the United States is garbage. It has 76 known carcinogens. I can teach you the brand to drink, but for the first 30 days, just stay off it, do yourself a favor. Uh, all right, so we'll get into more Q&As here in a second, but I wanna talk to you about this because we have determined through this AMA that macronutrients are everything. Calories, nothing. Macronutrients, everything. If you hit your macronutrients correctly, your calories will work themselves out anyway. So don't ever track calories again. And I know they made these new nutrition facts. The FDA passed a new law where the calories and the fat are like the two biggest things. It's ridiculous. They have their heads so far up their asses, I can't even stand it. It's ridiculous. It's all money. Money, 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 right? Ridiculous. But anyway, so. <laughs> Speaking of macronutrients, macronutrients are the most important thing for getting a handle on the health of human beings. We're all human beings. We're all grown up human beings watching this AMA. You might have your kids with you. So let's talk about the kiddos. The same thing goes for kiddos. Macronutrients are the most critical thing for little kids. Now, the issue with this is people get on the Clovis train and they go, oh, I'm gonna convert my kids, all right? So I'm gonna slowly take away sugar, I'm gonna slowly take away fruit, I'm gonna kind of give them what I get, blah, 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 blah. But nobody ever thinks about the macronutrient need of their children. How many macros does your kid need? Somebody, tell me. Nobody knows, right? You're lucky if your kid eats a quarter of what's on the plate that's put in front of them. We did an Instagram post about how all little kids are eating 100% sugar all day at school. Snack time, sugar, 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 sugar all day long, sun up to sundown. Then at sundown, we get mad at them because they won't go to sleep, right? That's a parent's fault, not a kid's fault, okay? And you're literally, the kid's getting in trouble. He's like laying in bed going, I literally can't sleep. You gave me 800 grams of sugar today. You just gave me an apple an hour ago and now you want me to go to sleep, right? It's crazy. So this is where Clovis Kids came from. We, we built out Clovis Kids this week. We're just about to launch. Everybody's gonna get access. So we didn't wanna give all the people that signed up, we didn't wanna give you access before this AMA because I feel like you would have just went over to Clovis Kids and started tooling around in there. It's a whole brand new website, whole new program, protocol, a new approved foods list that nobody else has, right? This is all membership only. People signed up last week and got a crazy deal. But I wanna tell you, the foundation of this program is the Clovis Kids Macros Calculator. Nothing like this has ever existed, ever. It is literally my proudest creation, maybe even prouder than paleo powder, right? This is literally my proudest creation. And this is based on an algorithm that I created myself. This is literally my life's work, okay? It's decades of study, decades of looking into health and nutrition since I was a little kid when I was a fat kid getting made fun of, right? I, I didn't know it, but in the back of my head, I wanted a macronutrient calendar for little kids. Now here I am at 31 and I've created it, right? That is the backbone of the Clovis Kids program. But the Clovis Kids program is much, much more than that. This macro calendar doesn't exist anywhere else and I can help you use this calculator to apply macros to your kids to get an idea of what they need. Now the thing is, kids are still growing. So parents lose their minds. When I first tell parents that I've worked with in the past, like your kid needs this much food, they're like, what? My kid is getting a fifth of that or a quarter of that or half of that. How am I gonna get him to eat this much food? And I'm saying, listen, you don't understand. The, per, the calorie per pound need of children is way higher than grownups. You're done growing, right? We're done, so amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of life. Amino acids are in everything, in all your tissues. They get put together like Legos. Amino acids build together to create proteins. Then those proteins plug together like little Legos to create tissues, bone, hair, skin, eyeballs, whatever, right? Every single thing in your entire body is made up of amino acids. Now your little kids, they need to make new tissue. You don't need to make new tissue unless you decide that you're gonna try to get into a bodybuilding competition and then you need to put on muscle. That's the only time that adults need to grow. Right? So these little kids, they need, some of your kids are gonna need more food than you need at eight, nine, 10 years old. They're gonna need more food than you. So here's the problem in America. All of our kids are malnourished. Like literally, like severely malnourished because 100% of their daily intake is coming from carbohydrates. They're getting no nutrient density, none of the DHA we talked about that they need for their brains to grow, none of the cholesterol they need to create steroid hormones to help them grow. Literally, we're just destroying these kids. It's also why you have really overweight little girls who are starting their cycles at like six, seven, eight years old. Their hormones are so disrupted because they're eating nothing but sugar. It's hormone disruption, okay? So this is super important. I need parents to understand the needs of their children. That is the goal 
of Clovis Kids, okay? And I can handle any goal for your child, moderate fat loss, rapid fat loss, muscle growth. If your kid's in the bottom five percentile or whatever they say, it's just like this tiny little kid won't grow, we can work that out too. Now, I can at least give you the tools you need to tell you what this kid needs and we can work together to figure out how to get it so they can start to grow again, okay? I see people with their kids all the time, man, and it breaks my heart. When I get on social media and people share pictures of their kids, I'm just sitting here going, that little kid looks like Dracula. He needs so much vitamin D, it's not even funny. How does a four-year-old have bags under his eyes, right? This is crazy, people. We need to fix this. This is why you need Clovis Kids. If you have kids, you need Clovis Kids. This is my proudest creation. I'm going to be putting a tremendous amount of effort over here into Clovis Kids. That's gonna be like my number one thing. I love all you guys. I love the Academy. I'm still gonna take care of you. I promise, don't worry. We're gonna work it all out, but I'm gonna be putting a tremendous amount of energy into those 80 kids, okay? So this is super, super important. Um, so Josh, is it possible you want to grab the phone again? Can we show them a little bit? Yeah. Um, if you want to, if you want to grab it. I'll grab it. Hold on, guys. We're going to show you Clovis Kids real quick. We'll give you a little sneak peek. Tell me when, dude. When? All right. Josh is logging in. I'm going to make sure you can see this. This is the first sneak peek at Clovis Kids. So Josh is logging in here. There's me, my ugly mug. And uh, I will tell you all about Clovis Kids. That's just a little step one intro. Welcome to Clovis Kids. Step two tells you all about the private Facebook group. So Clovis Kids has its own private Facebook group. And then we have the FAQ section. And that's just some of the most common questions that I get from parents. We fill those out and we're going to add to those as we go. Um, then we have the macros section. So the macro section is basically an intro to macros. I teach you about what macros are, macros for kids. And let's see this calculator. Boom, this is literally like my prized creation, okay? So Josh is just gonna type in stuff for his kid, right? So there's Liam, he's gonna put male, he's gonna pick his age, he's gonna put his weight in there, he's gonna say that he's either sedentary, lightly active, whatever we decide, and then we pick a goal. You get to pick, you know, maintenance. So his goal is maintenance, calculate, boom. Kid needs 1,277 calories, fat, net carbs, protein, those are all measured in grams. There is the Clovis Kids calculator, it's unbelievable. Um, and I really, really think that all parents should be using it. Uh, then we talk about the approved foods list. That's a download for the kids approved foods list, which is completely different from the grown up approved foods list. I added a ton of stuff. Oh, there's a little preview. Boom. It is a huge foods list. Okay. So you get the approved foods list. And then we have the resources section. We have a reading list. These are some of my favorite books. It's separated nutrition, mindset, kids books that you can read to your kids if they're really little. Right? Then we have the Ask Me Anything section. We're gonna have clips, a lot of preloaded AMAs that are already about kids are gonna be sitting there. And then we're gonna have the um, different sections that are specific to kids that we'll add there. And then we have the articles and websites. So we have articles from some of my buddies, Rob Wolf, Ben Greenfield. We'll be hanging with those guys in just a couple weeks actually. And we're gonna talk to them about Clovis Kids. So we'll do some videos with them too. But there's your little sneak preview of Clovis Kids. Right? So if you have not signed up for Clovis Kids, you need to sign up for Clovis Kids. And we're going to talk about that right now. Let me put this back on. Blink. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you sign up for Clovis Kids, that's what you're going to get access to very, very shortly here. We're going to send you a, a custom login. You can figure all that stuff out. So I want everybody to be involved with this. Like I said, we have 80 kids signed up. So this brings us to tonight's special offer. And it is to get as many people as humanly possible into Clovis Kids. That's what we're trying to do. Now, the people that signed up last week got the best deal we're ever gonna offer on Clovis Kids. It was crazy. They got a bag of fat loss, a bag of digest and rest. They got access to Clovis Kids for 97 bucks. It was nuts. We ran it, people went crazy for it. We signed up 80 kids, right? It was fantastic. So tonight's offer is gonna be a little bit different. Um, Clovis Kids, as you saw, is a full-blown interactive platform. It's designed for you to interact with your kids. We're going to talk about some special things, reward systems, maybe some Clovis bucks where your kids can buy you know, headphones, gizmos, and gadgets. We're going to go over this. They get access to me, Mr. Justin, live. I will go live with your kids. Let your kids know that they have their own nutrition coach. It doesn't just have to be mommy or daddy trying to get them to change. They can look at me. 
right? And I can talk to them directly and they can respond. They can talk to me. We can go Facebook Live together. We're going to work all this stuff out inside the members only section of Clovis Kids. So it's all about interaction. I'm trying to get you to build memories with your kids around getting healthy. Me and my dad have done a lot of work to get healthy together and it's memories I'll cherish forever, right? So tonight, I'm going to give you another opportunity to join. So we're going to start with Clovis Kids. I'm going to give you access. This look good, Josh? Great. Okay. Access to Clovis Kids. Now, for those of you that don't know, Clovis Kids is a paid membership site. And the price to get into Clovis Kids by itself is $127. So you're going to pay $127 to access Clovis Kids. This is why the people last week got such a crazy deal, okay? Because Clovis Kids comes with custom macros for your kids. So you get access to Clovis Kids, you're going to get custom macronutrients, and you're getting access. So for those of you that are in the academy, that know what the academy is like, same thing. We're going to have a private Facebook group. So the Clovis Kids Facebook group, which is awesome. The Clovis Kids Facebook group is going to be amazing because we can go live inside the Facebook group. We can bring your kids on in those Facebook lives because that's a private safe space. This is a community. It's, a, it's meant to build community and have people feel safe. Nothing will get shared outside of that without your express permission. So this, this gets you into access to Clovis Kids, custom macros, and access to the Clovis Kids Facebook group. You can share videos. You can share tips and tricks. I got my kid to eat better by giving him Zevia as a reward like Josh does with his little dude Liam. He's like, hey man, you ate some turkey. Cool. You get some uh, Dr. Zevia, right? Tastes like Dr. Pepper. So that's the thing. All these little tools and tips and tricks you can get to change the behavior of your kids. We're going to give you all that. Now we're going to do something special too. I'm also going to give you a bag of kids digest and rest paleo powder. Kids digest and rest paleo powder. So let me explain that to you. Yes, it's digest and rest paleo powder, but I want people to understand, especially when you learn your kids macronutrients and you go, wait a second, I have to give my kid how many grams of protein and how many grams of fat? How am I going to do that? Things like digest and rest are going to help you tremendously. It's a quick way to get them 15 grams of protein, right? 15 grams of protein and only 120 calories. And we have little tricks like how to do digest and rest hot chocolate. Give the kid a treat. They drink it. They think it's delicious. They don't know they're drinking something healthy. Don't tell them, hey, I have a new healthy drink for you, right? But this is kids digest and rest. And the reason why I'm writing kids on the board is because this is not for you, okay? Don't drink your kids digest and rest. You get a bag of digest and rest for your kid. Retail price on digest and rest is $59.99. Okay? So, to recap, you are getting digest and rest for kids, for kids, not for you, and access to the Clovis Kids program which gives you custom macronutrients and access to the Clovis Kids Facebook group. Now, I also want to talk to you real quick about digest and rest because a lot of people ask me about this. I get a lot of questions about breastfeeding. Is this safe for breastfeeding? Is this safe for kids? And I have a real hard time not yelling at the camera when that happens because I would never create anything that is not safe for all humans. Okay? Humans are humans. If you're taking a supplement that's only safe for people 18 years and older, not safe for kids, throw it away. You shouldn't be taking it. Children are humans, right? That's like saying, is a banana safe for kids? Or <laughs> is meat safe for kids? Or is broccoli safe for kids? It's food, right? So I make my products out of food. All of my products, including Digest and Rest, are safe for breastfeeding and they're safe for children. I highly recommend them for children to help you hit your macronutrients with your kids, okay? After you know your macronutrients, because you've got custom macronutrients. So you're getting kids digest and rest, you're getting access to Clovis Kids. So we start with access to Clovis Kids, normally $127. We have kids digest and rest, which is $59.99 a bag. And today, I'm going to give it to you for a grand total of, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do something different. Hold on, let me figure this out. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add to this. And I'm gonna, I gotta, I'm, all right, I'm just gonna do this. Screw it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add this to tonight. My heart's racing because I'm excited about this, but uh, just tonight, right? Josh has no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't shut it down. 
He's, he's pissed right now. Okay, listen, uh, I need to talk about this. Josh and I have talked about it extensively. Um, wasn't something that I was gonna talk about here tonight, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add to this. Here's what I'm gonna do, right? I told you the Clovis Academy has over 550 members, right? I have made custom macronutrient plans, custom nutrition plans for over 315 people in the last 60 days. Now I need you guys to understand that I'm getting between 30 and 60 emails a day from adults. These are adults that are looking for macronutrient plans. You guys see how it happens. Someone just came into the Facebook Live and said, tell me the plan. Everybody just wants the plan, wants the plan, wants the plan, wants the plan, right? So I'm spending hours and hours a day. It's a tremendous amount of work. So, and I need you guys to understand what a lot of people do, and it's okay. It's, I told you guys to do this, right? It's okay. Um, I get messages from a lot of people. Hi, my name is X, and I heard you do macros, and I need you to do macros for me, my husband, my daughter, my brother, my sister-in-law, my coworker at work, my grandfather, my dad, blah, 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 right? I, I sometimes get these emails that literally have 10 people that want macronutrients. And you know what? I do them all. And I do them all for free. I do these adult macronutrient plans for free. Like I said, I've done over 315 in the last 60 days. Things are changing with Clovis. And I just need to be real with you about it and I hope Josh doesn't hate me for just revealing stuff to you. But um, listen, it's not sustainable, okay? The way that it's going now with the Clovis Academy, 550 of you, I'm trying to respond to all your comments and I think I do a pretty good job of doing that. And now I have these 315 people. I make them macronutrients. They reach out to me over almost every day. What about this? What about cheese? What about wine? What about this? What about that? What about what is it? Right? I'm answering all these emails, 315 people, over 315 people. My, client, my, my client's folder in my messages is just insane, right? It's unsustainable. Now what I've found is I have 80 little kids to look after, okay? So I have this. I have Clovis kids here, and that has 80 kids in it. Now, these kids' parents are trusting me with their health. So I have no choice but to focus as much attention as I can on those little kids because I can't think of a greater responsibility than that. And I can't thank them enough for trusting me with the health of the most precious things on planet Earth, right? So I have to put a lot, a lot, a lot of effort there. So I thought about this in my head and I didn't know if Josh would go for it, so here we go. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to make free macronutrients for adults anymore. I can't do it. And I love all you guys, a lot of you guys in the academy that just throw so many, this makes me super sad. I'm like really having trouble talking about this. Um, I can't do it. I can't keep doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus as much as I can on Clovis kids. I'm still going to make macros for adults, but I'm going to have to start charging for it. So what I'm going to do is moving forward, you feel free to send your adults to me. That's totally cool. If you want new macronutrients, think about this, what I'm about to do. Um, cause I can't do free macros for adults anymore. I have to move beyond that. Uh, I have to really segment my time and I had these parents paying me and trusting me with these kids. I have to go full bore in that direction. So it has to make sense for me. I have to be able to drown out some of the noise of the adult macros. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do here. Let me erase this real quick so I can fit this in. Um, I'm going to start doing adult macros and this is just kind of the first number that I came up with, but I'm going to start doing adult macros for $97. So I will still do macros, your friends, family, whatever, send them to me and we can make that happen. And as you guys know, the people who have lost 50 pounds in six weeks, you know, it's worth it. Um, 100% worth it. I can absolutely change lives. I can continue changing lives and I can do the deeper work if it makes sense for me. Um, and this comes with some changes in career outside of Clovis and everything. There's a lot going on for me because things grew much faster than I anticipated, right? So I will do adult macros for 97. So what I want to do, just because I just kind of dropped this bomb on everybody's head who knows me as, you know, free macro guy. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to put all this together and, um, I don't even know what that is. I'll add it up. But so let's say, let's let, all right. So here's what I'll do. If you, if you do this tonight for Clovis Kids, if you sign up for Clovis Kids, you're going to get access to Clovis Kids with custom macros, access to Clovis Kids Facebook group. That's $127. Uh, Josh, can you do this math for me real quick? Yep. And then if you do a bag of Kids Digest and Rest, you're going to get, not for you, for your kids, you're going to get that for $59.99. So $127 plus $59.99. And then I will run adult macros 
for all the parents in the house. Let's just do it like that. So I'm gonna charge 97 per um, going forward. So, all right, so let's add those up, Josh, and let's say there's two parents in the house. So that's, what's that like? $380. $380, okay. So this would be total $380 for a household with two parents, right? And I'm gonna run macros for all your kids, right? So that's $380, access to Clovis Kids, custom macros, access to Clovis Kids Facebook group, Kids Digest and Rest. So 127 plus 59.99, I'll make macros for you and two parents, up to two parents. So that's $380. So tonight I'm gonna do this all in the spirit of, let's say in the spirit of last week. I'll do all that for 97 bucks. So I'll give you all that tonight for $97. So you'll get macros for yourself, for a husband, wife, partner, whatever it may be, how any par however many parents are in the house, I will throw the adult macros in because I really want to see the whole family coming to Clovis Kids. I've never been more excited about anything in my life. Clovis Kids has literally taken over the majority of my brain power at this point. That's where I really, really want to put my effort. So access to Clovis Kids, custom macros, access to Clovis Kids Facebook group, normally 127. We'll give you Kids Digest and Rest, normally 59.99. And adult macros, which I'm going to start charging for, 97 a piece. And that's normally $380. We'll give it to you tonight for total $97. As you guys who have been here before know, we're going to do this with a hashtag. So, uh, okay. So Josh set up hashtags for you. So here's what we'll do. So there's no confusion about digest and rest and what flavor you want. So here's all you have to do. Underneath. Underneath. Okay. So hashtag buy vanilla. Or hashtag buy chocolate. Okay, so that's all you have to do. In the comments section, just enter hashtag buy vanilla if you want vanilla, hashtag buy chocolate if you want chocolate. So you're gonna get all of this, absolutely everything here, and it's gonna tell us exactly what flavor of digest and rest you want. So this all, this all makes sense, right? I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> Trying to piecemeal this together. But yeah, so that's it. I'll give you all this for $97 tonight. This is a one-time only thing. I want you to understand because I'm really going to be firm about this. I'm going to be firm about making macronutrients going forward because I really have to protect my time so I can focus my time here because the kiddos, they have no say in their health and we really need to fix that. Okay. So I need to put a lot of time and energy into Clovis Kids. So I would really love it if you have kids and you trust me to help them after everything that we've just talked about, the importance of macronutrients, how critical it is to your child's growth, health, happiness, behavior. You'd be stunned how this is going to impact their behavior. Then if you want the new approved foods list, right, then just hashtag buy vanilla or hashtag buy chocolate. So here's something that's happened in the academy organically and it like makes my heart grow 10 sizes like instantly. It's unbelievable. Um, we had some people last week talking about Clovis Kids. There are some people who can't afford the Clovis Kids program. That's obviously going to happen. Um, it's kind of beyond our control. We need to make this stuff sustainable. But we had some incredible, incredible, incredible Good Samaritans, some super generous people within the academy who reached out to us directly, privately, and said, hey, can I buy this for someone else? Um, yes. The answer is yes. So if you do this tonight, this buy vanilla or buy chocolate, right? If you do that and it's not for you and you just decide you want to gift it to somebody, your cousin, your brother, your sister-in-law, whatever it may be, right? If you want to give that to somebody else, that's totally cool. All you got to do is we'll put you in touch with the wizard. He'll walk you through it and we'll just credit that payment to the appropriate person and create an account for them. And uh, you can do that anonymously if you want to. That was the thing last week. Some people wanted to remain anonymous and I think that is freaking amazing. I wish that there were more people like you in the world, for real. I mean, it's, it's incredible stuff because we're really trying to change lives here. That's what we're doing. We're trying to change lives and you guys know this is a real lean operation that Clovis is running. You know me, you know the wizard, you know Madam Wizard, she's a little rock star, right? 
So it's a really big deal, okay? And we're trying to do the best we can with this, but we run everything really, really lean and we need this to be sustainable. You guys know I'm still rocking gigs every weekend. Like I'm still busting my ass playing music to, to make ends meet. So um, anyway, yeah, this is Clovis Kids. So $97, hashtag buy vanilla, hashtag buy chocolate. You can buy for strangers, you can buy for friends, family, anyone you want to. I urge you to come into Clovis Kids. Let me change your kids' lives. Let's do this thing. All right, so now, we're gonna go into Q&A. Let's talk about some Q&A. What do we got here? Some people buying, that's good. Some give back, okay, cool. To clarify, no, the kids digest and rest is not different. No, that's what I said right off the bat. It is normal digest and rest. We're calling it kids just because it's not for you, okay? Buy it for your kids. Get it for the kids, for the kiddos. It's the same thing. All my products are safe. They're safe for breastfeeding. They're safe for all humans on planet Earth, literally safe for everybody, okay? So you have any questions about the deal, not just the deal, ask me some questions, right? Whatever you guys ask me questions about in the academy when I said, give me topics for tomorrow, let's spend some time here. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here as long as you guys are here. So uh, shoot me some questions. If you have questions about anything, let's do it. So when we end our 30 day reset, we pay, right? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Kathy. Uh, maybe, yeah, I mean, I guess if you want me to run new mac custom macros, yeah, that might be the case. Uh, we'll talk about it again. Don't worry about after 30 days. Well, uh, why no exercise in the first 30 days? Todd, this is taken on a person by person basis, okay? It's not true for everybody. If you're more than 30 pounds overweight, I'm gonna take exercise away from you because you're working against yourself. This is something called glycolytic versus aerobic activity, right? So if you have a, a huge, huge excess of fat, then you're dealing with a lot of systemic uh, inflammation. So spiking cortisol levels, spiking inflammation, which is what exercise does, it's your body reacting to a stressor, that's the whole reason why it repairs itself and gets better, right? It's counterproductive for what I call high risk clients. So if you're more than 30 pounds overweight, high risk. I put you in that high risk category. We need to get the body fat under control before we can add an exercise. You're literally working against you. You're working against yourself. That's why you see chubby CrossFitters who are working out six days a week and just cannot lose weight, right? They're working against themselves. Coffee Bean, Sam Price. Yes, I'm glad you chimed in. Okay, a couple places. Uh, I have my personal favorites, right? So Bulletproof brand, bulletproof.com, Bulletproof Coffee Beans, their whole beans, they really are fantastic. They're independently lab tested. The way they collect the beans is nuts. The beans never touch the ground. It's really, there's like no mycotoxins. There's a lot of mold and mycotoxins in a lot of coffee brands out there. It's terrible. Like don't use your freaking Keurig. Don't get, don't ever buy coffee beans that don't have a roast date on them. If you can't see the roast date, it's months and months old, including Starbucks. Don't buy some Starbucks beans, right? If the roast date isn't on it, anytime you go to a really nice barista shop or something, coffee shop, there's gonna be the roast date right on it. It's probably gonna be a day ago or two days ago. That's what you want. You don't wanna buy beans that were roasted uh, late. I would say three weeks, four weeks is like your maximum past the roast date. So Bulletproof Coffee Beans are awesome. Two websites for delivery. Um, I used to use Craft Coffee. Craftcoffee.com is great. Uh, also Counterculture Coffee is great. Go to those websites. Now you wanna get single origin beans. Don't get these blends of, the, the blends are always cheaper. They're cheaper for a reason. Anytime you get single origin beans, you're gonna get a really, really good quality coffee. And people that think that they have coffee issues or whatever, it's usually not. There was a girl in the academy today that was uh, a couple days ago, or whatever, that was just like, yeah, I have this huge sensitivity to coffee. And I was like, oh, so you're only drinking black coffee? And like, no, of course, she's adding cream and sugar and milk and whatever else, and you blame it on the coffee. It's crazy. You're putting a bunch of poison in a perfectly good cup of coffee. So get good coffee beans. I urge you, spend the extra money, get good coffee beans. Counterculture.com, counterculturecoffee.com, I think is the website. Craft coffee, bulletproof coffee beans. What else we got? Which coffee beans do you recommend? Yes, the ones I just said. Okay, coffee beans, coffee beans. Canadians, message Nikki, figure out shipping. Awesome. Do our macros change? Yes, absolutely, but only when there are significant changes. So some people will come back to me and be like, I lost five pounds, I lost 10 pounds, I lost 15 pounds, I lost 20 pounds, I need new macros. No, you don't, I assure you, you do not. The macros, it, it takes a lot. Like, um, for instance, Micah, one of the one, one, great, Transformation story, he lost 50 pounds in six weeks. Micah needed new macros, right? Dude lost 50 pounds. He literally lost a little person. Like, so we had to uh, rerun his macros. There will be a time that comes for that, but it's, it's much further down the road than you think. Five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, doesn't matter, trust me. Sprouts says Bulletproof Coffee Beans. Yes, Sprouts does, Whole Foods does, a bunch of places to sell, sell Bulletproof now, which is awesome. So our macros, one hour ahead. Good night, Brittany, I love you. Bye. Crazy Canadian. 
those Canadians. Have a good night, eh? <laughs> I had to. Uh, yes, Jackie, thank you. Only after you've made significant strides. Talk to us about cuts of meat versus uncured, packaged, i.e. bacon safe quantities. Okay, uh, this is, the cut of meat is really not an issue. This is, this is a complete non-issue. So this is, there's something, uh, something called eating snout to tail or like snout to tail is one way that people say it. Like literally all throughout human history, we've eaten bones, we've eaten organ meats. Organ meats are the most nutrient dense. You can have a few ounces of liver a week and cover like your, all your vitamin A needs, like all this crazy, it's really insane. Like I actually take a liver supplement. I can tell you guys about it if you wanna learn about a liver supplement. But the cuts really don't matter at all. If you're getting grass fed beef, I mean you could be eating that cow's tongue or that cow's heart. It's very, very nutrient dense, very, very good for you. The organ meats are actually the best part of the animal for you. So don't worry about the cuts. Now, uncured package, all that with bacon, you always want uncured bacon. The issue is most bacon is going to have some form of sugar in it. It's just going to, it's the way bacon is made. Like bacon is not just a natural thing. You can't just like cut bacon off the animal. Like there's no bacon section of a cow. Like there's a shoulder of a cow, you know, or a pig or whatever, right? So just be very careful. My favorite brand is Applegate. Um, Applegate has a no sugar added. Uh, they have their Sunday morning bacon, which is a good one, but then they have one that's legit, no sugar added. All you guys have to do is just read the ingredients list. That's it. People keep asking me all these big questions about bacon and getting really confused. You need, it needs to say no hormones, no antibiotics, humanely raised. Look at the nutrition facts. If it has one gram of sugar per two slices, you don't want that brand. You have four slices, you're taking in sugar, right? That's, that's been cured in a lot of sugar, okay? So just be really careful. Just learn how to be labeled detectives, okay? Thank you for all you have done, for all for free for so long. Yes, Crystal, thank you. That means a lot to me. And understand, the Academy's not going anywhere. You guys learn so much from each other, it's ridiculous. You're answering each other's questions in ways where I'm just like, oh my God, I feel like I have a bunch of little children that I have, like I've just taught them these things and I watch them just go teach them to each other and it's like the most fulfilling thing I've ever done ever. Like it's absolutely incredible. And what's really cool is a lot of you guys were my friends like before this, you know? So the people that like I love and care about, I see them change their lives. Like when Jackie sends me videos of her twins, her twins drinking Digest and Rest through a bottle, is like, oh, I think my heart's gonna explode and I'm gonna die in my house alone. <laughs> my dog would just feel like, oh, I'm gonna do now, no big deal. But anyway, literally, she sends me these videos and pictures of her little kids, like they go crazy for the Digest and Rest in a bottle, her little twins. It's, it's adorable. I'm so happy with all this, with the Academy. So keep sharing. I'm gonna do the very best I can to comment and get back to you guys there. It'll be great. Uh, most of the bacon I've seen eats grains. Okay, yeah, that, okay. That's really not a problem, right? So this is, this is really confusing too. Like cows are herbivores. Cows should only eat grass. Pigs are not necessarily herbivores. They're omnivores. They'll basically eat anything, right? Like pigs will literally eat anything. It's less of a deal for a pig to eat grains. Like all the bacon you get is gonna say vegetarian fed, vegetarian fed, vegetarian fed. Okay, that's, that's really not a big issue. It's really not a big issue for pigs, right? And then that's the thing about pasture-raised chickens too. Like you'll get a lot of chickens that say vegetarian fed or veg like vegetarian fed free range or whatever. Pasture-raised chickens, they're little dinosaurs. They're evil little savages. They'll kill snakes and ferrets and chickens and eat bugs all day long. Like they are carnivores, man. They are predator carnivores, right? They're not just carnivores, they're, they'll, they'll eat anything really. But they're little dinosaurs. They're scary as hell. Like look up videos, just Google chicken kills mouse. Right? It's hilarious. It's really fun to watch. <laughs> we have a few messages already, which is awesome. And Josh just told me about this while we had a little break to chat. But people that do want to buy this program for other people, that's fantastic. Please do it. Guys, there are people who need this. Their families need it. They have a lot of kids. And um, you can do some good. If you can afford this, you can really do some good by hitting bash, hashtag buy vanilla or hashtag buy chocolate for 97 bucks. You'll give all this to a family. And on top of that, if you buy this for a family, I'll run your macros and their macros as the parents. So I'll run the macros for the parents and whoever purchased. I'll just consider it a purchase of macros as well. So if you do that kind of good, if you're giving back to people, then I want to give back to you. So I'm going to try to just, just do this the best I can, right? Just hashtag buy vanilla, hashtag buy chocolate. Buy this for somebody, give it as a gift, and I'll run your macros. So I'm just gonna keep this up here just as a reminder, and we can do a few more um, questions if you want to. So I'll kind of just 
stay out of the way, you guys can see that, right? If you don't have questions yet, just keep the questions coming and I'll keep looking back here. But I really, really want people to get involved with Clovis Kids. It's, uh, it's, it's everything, man. This is everything. Really, when you think about it, we talk about the, 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 the uh, food pyramid, all the stuff we're trying to undo, all the genocide, you know? Uh, brain octane for kids dosage. Okay, be very, very careful with this. I went through this with my niece. Uh, my niece for those of you that don't know, I have a niece that's 100% vegetative and she's fed through a feeding tube and she's four years old. We have had some fun experiments with MCT oil. Okay, you have to be very, very careful uh, depending on the age of the kids. So again, Nikki, you're asking me a blanket statement. You're saying brain octane for kids. I don't know. How old is the kid, right? If you're dealing with a two-year-old, you got to be real, real careful. If you're dealing with a four or five-year-old, you're still going to be careful, maybe not as careful, but you're dealing with quarter teaspoons, half teaspoons, single teaspoons. I mean, really be careful and, and, and leave it up to the kid, right? Start slow because the thing to understand is as a grown-up, if you give yourself a little too much and you have stomach discomfort, you're like, okay, like I figured that out. If you do that to your kid, he's not going to trust you, right? You, m mommy gave me this and I got a stomach ache and now she's wanting me to take it again. It's not going to happen. You got one shot at this. So start low and work your way up. Okay? Yeah, Lynette, even if we started last week, we'll talk about it. Well, I'll get you in touch with the wizard and we'll, we'll figure everything out for uh, Matt. I thought I already ran your macros. I'm pretty sure. I thought we already did macros. Um, man, I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, is it okay to do conventional meat for the first couple months? I think once we get in a routine, used to eating this way. Yes, it is. Okay? Um, that's the thing. I harp a lot on these the meat issue, right? Because really you want grass fed, you want wild caught fish, you want pastured poultry. But I understand that that is not a reality for everybody. That's totally cool. Just eat meat. Okay. Really. It's not the difference. It's not all or nothing. Like if you're like, okay, I can't get grass fed beef. So I'm going to eat Cheerios. No, 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 no. Let's, let's concentrate on hitting your macronutrients. We can worry about food quality down the road because you're going to see little things. A lot of people think it's more expensive to eat healthy and I've talked about this over and over and over. When you're not buying soda and Doritos and Fritos and marshmallows and Pop-Tarts and Cheerios and milk and whatever else, it's just a house full of packaged foods that half of it never gets eaten. It goes stale, gets thrown away. When you break those habits, you're going to all of a sudden start seeing more and more room in your grocery budget. So as you get down the line, you might be able to talk about these things, but no, like just conventional meat is a conventional meat. And now farm raised fish is probably a little worse, but we talked about this thing in the Clovis Academy, shellfish, scallops, mussels, shrimp, Lobster, shellfish, all that stuff, don't worry, you can get farmed. It doesn't, it's not the same issues, okay? So go with conventional meats, just do it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't, don't sit here and say, Justin said, it's gotta be grass fed, it's gonna be grass fed all or nothing. I never take the all or nothing approach, don't worry. Okay, uh, what else we got? Conventional meat, yeah, Lynette, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Um, that's what I figured, yes, Christy. One scoop of F at 120 calories, we do two scoops. Can that replace a meal? Yeah, absolutely. Again, so, you're not scanning in Carb Manager. No, I'm working with Carb Manager closely right now. We're working on a spreadsheet to add all of my products into their database. There is a product in Carb Manager called Perfect Paleo Powder and it was mine. It doesn't exist anymore. That was the original formula that I made in my kitchen back in 2014. Um, so it's completely different macronutrients. Just make sure Make sure you're custom tracking. So yeah, you're talking about 240 calories, 30 grams of protein, 12 net carbs for a double dose of fat loss. Track those net carbs. Don't forget about that. I actually saved money buying this stuff on Justin's Approved Food. Yes, exactly, Carlin, exactly. I try to tell people that and they, they, they don't, they, what they're thinking about is they're saying, my grocery budget is $300 a week for my family. And now he wants me to buy this beef that's $3 more per pound so now all of a sudden my grocery bill is $315. I'm like, no, that's not the case because you're removing all the nonsense. You're getting rid of all the nonsense. You're just getting veggies and meat and eggs, right? It's super, super simple. So don't, you will save money on this. Manually add all PPPs. Yes, Kathy, yes. I've saved so much money on the approved foods list. Yes, absolutely, Monique. My grocery bill used to be literally three times. Absolutely. Is the approved foods list something that comes with the macro? Yes, absolutely. The approved foods list comes with Clovis Kids, okay? Uh, I don't know if you're talking about Clovis Kids or you're talking about macros, but when I give people macros, they get the Clovis approved foods list, which is completely different from the Clovis Kids approved foods list, which is different. It's much, much different, in fact. 
And we even get into personal care items. We talk about what soaps, what deodorants, what toothpaste, what everything to use for your kids. We talk about milks, we talk about butters, we talk about everything. Everything that you can think of is on the approved foods list to literally transform your kid's entire life. So if you're holding back, don't hold back. I'm telling you, once you start seeing people in the academy that are also in the Clovis group, the Clovis kids group talking about how crazy this is, you're going to want in and it's going to be 127 bucks. What else we got? Yeah, Sean, I made Now, Sean, keep in mind, you can share with friends. You can find friends in the card manager and you can make your own entry for PPP, which is awesome too. Yeah, you can add it as many meals then it's saved for you. Yes, 100%. So Kathy, once you add PPPs, just save it. You can save it as a food right in the Car Manager app. Kristen, venison's about the best thing you can eat. I eat a ton of venison. So just for fun one day, again, I always tell people, look this stuff up. Just for fun, Google the nutrition facts of venison and then Google the nutrition facts of beef. It's Venison is a superfood. Any wild caught game is a freaking superfood. Like I have a, a boar a wild boar that I procured in the woods and is in my house now. I don't know how it got there, but I eat it and it's awesome. And the nutrition facts are crazy. The nutrition facts on wild boar are nuts. There's so much protein. Like protein per ounce is crazy. Wild game is as good as it gets. We are designed, all right, think about it this way, right? If you picture a super athlete, like a ridiculous super athlete, right? Jacked, like, perfect physical specimen, runs all day, professional athlete type thing, right? That's what you're talking about with wild game. Now, if you picture a cow that was raised on a feedlot farm, just picture like the most obese human you can picture who lays around all day and does nothing and eats junk food that's poison. That's what you're eating most of the time with cows. Wild game is everything. That's like where it's at. If you're in a place where you can get wild game, eat that all the time. Better than wild caught fish, better than grass fed beef, get wild game. If you can get it, it was really wild, get it. Awesome. When will, when will Clovis Kids be up and running, Josh? Uh, we're gonna be sending everybody logins, some of them tonight and some of them tomorrow. Okay, some people will be getting their Clovis Kids logins tonight, some will get them tomorrow, but everyone will have their Clovis Kids logins by tomorrow latest, okay? What else we got? Yeah, that boar is weird. You know, he was like, he was like 60 yards away from me and di I died. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was really weird. <laughs> uh, all right, so Clovis Kids tomorrow, wild game. Seriously. <laughs> Justin equals wild game. Yeah, basically. <laughs> if I were on a, uh, an island of cannibals, I'd be in, in legit trouble. <laughs> That'd be a big trouble. All right, what else we got? Yeah, Kristen, dude, the more wild game you can get, stick to that. It's awesome. If you got uncles or whatever, or you get, if you get wild game yourself, do that. Do that all the time. I wish, my goal is for my, my entire family to be fed 100% of wild game. That's my personal goal. That's one of my things about being paleo is if I really, really want to live by paleo principles, the only way for me to know exactly where that food's coming from is if I get it. So uh, yeah, I, I like feeding my family with meat that I procure. It's a very, very, very good feeling. Um, all right, what else we got? We got anything left? Again, remember guys, if you can afford this, it'll come back to you tenfold in the back end, karma-wise, right? Buy vanilla, buy chocolate, give it to a friend, give it to a family member, help them out, help them fix their kiddos, help me help them fix their kiddos, right? It's awesome, it's really important stuff. This is a great, great deal. And again, it's gonna, it's gonna jump to this. So you're looking at 127 bucks just for membership. And that does not come with a bag. It does not come with adult macros. It doesn't come with any of this stuff down here. So just keep that in mind and think about it. If you, I mean, think, if, if, if all this did was helped one kid pay attention in school, have a little more focus in school. Or if all this did was help one kid lose enough body fat that he doesn't get bullied anymore. Think about it like that, right? Or if all this did was help one kid improve his behavior in school and stop getting in trouble, stop getting sent to the principal's office, like would this be worth it for that? 
When you think about, that's the way I try to think about all these deals is this right here, this total, $97. If that was all it did, if you helped one kid stop getting bullied, is it worth 97 bucks? If you get adult macros as a result of this and all this does is help you drop 10 pounds, was it worth it? That's all you get out of this. Was it worth it? Think about it like that. We're doing the best we can to give you guys the best deals we can to help change lives. We're all about changing lives. That's what we're trying to do. So, how are we looking over here? No legumes. No, Kathy, no legumes. legumes. Legumes are a big deal because everybody always really, really wants them. It's Again, if you go back and you listen to what I talked about, net carbohydrates and everything, this is a bioavailability issue. Legumes are covered in lectins. They're literally poison and they're poisoning your body. So even if you read the, micro, the macronutrients, it's like it has high protein, high dietary fiber. You can't digest that stuff. It's not bioavailable unless you soak the beans overnight, all night long. Then you cook them at very, very high heat. You're cooking the lectins out, but you're also cooking some of the nutrient density right out of the food. It's really just not worth it. Not worth it at all. Oh, Josh, you're going to handle the video thing? Yep. Awesome. The major difference of my way and paleo. Paleo does not restrict carbohydrates whatsoever. Paleo does not have you track macronutrients, does not have you restrict carbohydrates. So it's literally just all you have to, all you get with paleo is like paleo, not, right? Eat this, not that. There is no macronutrient counting, no nothing. You could eat 100% paleo and give yourself type 2 diabetes, 100%, literally. It's people that just are constantly baking and making stuff paleo and paleo desserts and eating five bananas a day and a whole bag of nuts and it's just ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. It's, you, you can't just use paleo and expect to get good health results. They're, they're incredibly, in, my, my ways are, are, is very, very different from paleo, very different. No, it's not the certain nuts and legume thing. No, Kathy, if you look up, look up a paleo food list and then compare it to my approved foods list, it's not even close. It's, I remove so much, that's the thing. Paleo has all these foods over here in the eat this section that are loaded with lectins. They're inflammatory. They're full of sugar. And they're all in the eat section on paleo because they just, they don't know better. That's really all there is to it. They just don't know better. I know better. That's why I get crazy transformations. Their six month transformation I get with people in six weeks. That's where these crazy transformations come from. Hey, Anna. Yes, exactly. See, Sean, you're looking at it like you're thinking that my approved foods list is a paleo list, but it's not. So you're looking at their list just like, oh, wait a second. They can't eat that. You're gonna be disappointed about bell peppers, Christy. <laughs> Sorry, uh, loaded with lectins. What else we got? My feet shrunk in one week. <laughs> That's awesome, Kathy. All right, guys, what else we got? We're, we're going, we're coming up on two hours again. We're gonna, we're gonna do two hours every week, I guess. That's what we do now. Um, but again, this deal is going away, okay? So I would hop on this now. If you can find it in your heart to give it to somebody else, Go ahead and do it. $97, access to Clovis Kids, custom macros, access to the private Facebook group, the approved foods list, specifically for kids. That is a new foods list that none of you have. Kids digest and rest, $59.99 a bag, $127 for Clovis Kids, adult macros. I'll run it for both parents. If you buy it for someone else, I'll run macros for you, the purchaser, and the parent, parents, partners, whatever it may be, for whatever family you bought it for. I'll run them for those adults as well. Uh, all for $97. So remember, hashtag buy vanilla, hashtag buy Clovis. I'd love to see more of you guys do this. It would be fantastic. Let's see how we're looking here. Sean, when you put dot, 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 I get nervous. I feel like that's going to be a lengthy thing or something. <laughs> Four, 14 years old is absolutely a kid. What do you mean, not a kid? That's confusing to me. He's absolutely a kid. He's, he's built like a man, but he's 100% a kid. 
he has the nutrient needs of a kid. So we need to sort that out, 100%. We absolutely need to sort that out. Yes, he's a man size, but he's a kid. He's still growing. So unless you think your 14 year old is done growing, then he absolutely has the nutrient needs of a kid. Now, he's dealing with a weight issue, 100%. And so we need to figure that out. And we still want him to grow correctly, his tissues, bones, organs, all these things, his brain, we need these things to grow. So that's the thing, a doctor, if you go to a doctor, your doctor is not going to do this. Your doctor is gonna put your kid on a 1200 calorie a day diet and starve him and stunt his growth and stunt his brain development. So don't do that. Come to me, I promise you. All right. All right guys, I think we're gonna wrap this one up. So thank you so much. This is Ask Me Anything number 15, how eating fat can save your life. That was like a master class on macros, you guys. So I really, really hope you understand that. Go back and watch it as many times as you need to. Take notes, share it with your friends. Remember, this lives on the Clovis page, not the Clovis Academy. So share it with your friends. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, Wiz will get in touch with you. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of everything. You guys rock. Thank you for all the likes. I see all the likes coming in, the likes, the loves, the smiles. You guys are awesome. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you for being so understanding of this and the way that we're, the, the direction that we're pushing Clovis in. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing. I love you. Thank you for letting me do this. You're my favorites. Ask me anything number 15, how eating fat can save your life. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.